are special people in our lives, so we would rather just move it and have everyone still be able to come. good morning it's been like seriously forever since i vlogged and i feel like i say that every vlog but i like just take long breaks in between my vlogs i feel like just because for me like how busy i am it's a lot easier just to do like some sit down videos throughout the week than to actually vlog but i have some stuff i want to do today and some stuff i want to share today so i thought i would vlog you're probably wondering why my hair is so curly right now i decided to have a little fun and curl it like super tight like i used to do it in middle school literally you guys every single day i would wake up at 5 a.m and i would spend two hours curling my hair every single day i wouldn't ever do second day hair now i wash my hair like once a week but yeah that's why it looks super curly i actually like it though it's super fun curly this is like what my mom's hair looks like naturally you guys she doesn't even have to like do anything to get hair like this and I got naturally wavy hair, not naturally curly, but I don't know. I think it's super pretty, but it makes my hair super short too. I don't know. I just wanted to share that if you guys are probably wondering why my hair is so curly. All right. So first, I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a life update, sit down and kind of update with you, update you guys with what's been going on in our lives because a lot has changed. Obviously, I'm just going to start with the fact that the world right now is a lot different for everybody. I know you guys are all experiencing it too with the coronavirus outbreak and the measures that we are taking to help this matter and to prevent it and all of that. So with that, I am currently all online for my schooling for the rest of the semester. So that's definitely new for me. I love online classes, so it's been going pretty good, but also it's just it's a change it's something i didn't expect at all to happen and with that i was supposed to have a junior recital this year because i am a music major and this was my semester to recite and unfortunately the performing arts center at my school canceled all of its events so we can't do that anymore and because of the safer at home order that wisconsin has in place i can't really even go there myself and just do it with no audience so um, I'm still doing my recital. It's just going to be a video one that I'm going to share with family and friends on my personal Facebook page and with my professor so that I can still get graded for it. Um, it's a huge bummer because I really do like performing. I'm not a performance major. I'm just music ed, but like I still love singing. I love performing. So that's kind of sad, but also, I mean, I think it's probably for the best and it doesn't at all take away the hard work that I put into all my music so I'm gonna give it my all when I do it here I'm gonna record it right here in my living room um I'm gonna wear my recital dress because I have a recital dress that I bought for it and everything but so that's the first major like update thing that's new the next is um the fact that we have officially postponed our wedding from May 30th to August 14th. That was huge for us. We spent a few weeks thinking on it, sleeping on it, talking about it, um, looking at all of our options. And we decided that we didn't really wanna play this game of waiting to see what's gonna happen anymore. We just decided to make the call. I know it's still like almost two months away till the wedding was supposed to be, but as of right now, things aren't looking great and we don't want to cut our guest list down. We still, we have about 250-ish people that we are expecting to come and we don't really want to cut that because a lot of those people are special people in our lives. So we would rather just move it and have everyone still be able to come. I think I came to terms with it though. Like once my bridal shower was canceled in March, I like came to terms that like, this is real, this is happening. I was really upset over that. I like cried, I like freaked out um, just cause I was like, this cannot be happening right now. But then once it like, once I like kind of accepted it, 
canceling the wedding i honestly haven't shed a tear over just because i'm relieved now that we have a plan and our vendors have been amazing luckily every single one of our vendors our photographer our food our dj everybody was able to do our new date which is august 14th so we lucked out with that and also if you guys know august 14th is the day that we got engaged so that day is already very special for us so we were like you know what it's going to be such a special day for us so we'll see how it goes i actually have all the invites i'm not going to show the actresses but i have a pile of invites that I'm resending out for the new date. I didn't like order new invites, which is sad because the other ones were so pretty, but I just typed up a little something on Google Docs and I printed it out just saying like, what's happening and when to RSVP by and all that stuff. But so people always ask me like, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm so sorry. And I appreciate everybody's kind words, but we are doing really well with it. Honestly, we have accepted it and we are just blessed that we're still able to do this another reason why we kind of made that call is because right now the military has a ban on travel until may 11th and he was supposed to come home may 21st and we just that's getting a little bit too close for our comfort because we just have a feeling deep down that that's going to extend we don't know anything yet but um we just don't want to wait until may 11th to like find that out and then it's just so close to the wedding that it's like hard so um, we also have family that are flying in from all over the country and we just don't want them to have any issues with getting here so that's that august 14th it's gonna be amazing it's it's kind of sad that like i'm supposed to be getting married next month and now it's not till august but it's just a few more months of waiting i mean i can i can do it and luckily um I told you all in my life updates video in January that I was planning to move out there for the summer after our wedding and spend the whole summer together. Um, luckily, as of right now, we're still planning on doing that. I'm actually planning on leaving next month now instead of June after our wedding because he's not going to be coming home at all until August when we come home together. So I'm planning to go out there from like middle of May until our wedding. and. Um, if everything goes okay with that if if i'm allowed to do that and um luckily we are actually going to be getting a house together so that's really exciting um i'm not going to get into the details of that because there's a lot of them and there are just some things that i don't feel like talking about right now but we are um getting our first house together which wasn't a part of the original plan but now things have changed a little bit so we are kind of changing our plans too we're just super excited to start our life together out there and i don't know it's just like it sucks that everything got moved but maybe it's a blessing that we're able to to do this together now i'm just trying to keep as positive as i can that's gonna happen and hopefully i mean i'm not saying for sure yet just because like the world is such a big question mark right now but that's our plan right now is to go out there together get our first house together um stay in it until august and just get like the bare minimum of stuff we need like we're gonna get a bed a dining room table a couch like some place to put our tv and then like a dresser and stuff like that like we're just gonna get the essentials like it's gonna be very plain like i'm not gonna decorate it really either just because for our wedding we have so many things that people are going to be getting us or stuff like that um, so we're gonna like bring so then after the wedding we're gonna drive back to North Carolina together because Al bought a truck here in Wisconsin so we're gonna drive our his truck back to North Carolina with all of our wedding gifts it'll be perfect um, it'll be like a road trip after we get married because we were gonna do that in June after our May 30th wedding anyway so now we're just it's just got pushed back a little bit so I'm really excited about that. So I know that's a lot of information, but basically I'm gonna be there May to August. August, we come home together, have our wedding on August 14th, and then like a few days after, drive back to North Carolina, bring all of our wedding gifts to our house, actually start making our house look like a house. And then I am gonna have to come back in September for school, but that's okay, because we'll still have a few weeks to spend in our like nicely furnished, more put together home. Yeah, so that's really it for a life update i mean i just hope that you guys are all doing well and um i hope that everything is going okay for you i know a lot of people are affected by the military's travel ban um i know for international um service members that are like 
on deployments. The travel ban is longer. It's Right now it's until May 24th. And so I'm just praying for you guys. I just want you all to know that um, I'm thinking of everybody who's affected by this because that's the thing is every single person is affected by this one way or another, whether it's uh, trips getting canceled, all of you high school and college graduating students this year, class of 2020, I am so thinking of you and I hope that you guys are all keeping positive and I hope that you get to have the ceremony that you deserve and try to keep try to keep a positive mind, that's all I can say. I know it's a lot easier said than done, but I know everybody's affected by this, so um, I'm thinking of you all. Please stay safe, please stay inside, go outside when necessary, take time for yourself during this time too. I know a lot of people are going through their own personal things right now so take a minute go take a walk get some fresh air everything will be okay this too shall pass i just keep saying that in my head so if you guys are ever needing someone to talk to you can always message me my dms are always open we're gonna get through this together so that's all i wanted to say but that's a little life update and let's get on with our day my, my grandma's specialty my mom made me my favorite meal for lunch Grilled cheese and tomato soup. She always makes it the best. I'm wearing a white shirt today and I really want to keep it that way. Also, I had to put my hair up because I don't want it to get in my soup. I don't look like a ass, get away. What did you just say? I said, who watches this? Well, what are you, why? <laughs> okay, so I just got to the little mail drop box thing because we don't have a post office here, but I am going to be mailing out now all of our new wedding invites because we had to resend them, but I hand wrote all of them. So people always ask like why I hand write them. Why don't I just like print off the like little sticker that has our name and everything on it. And I love handwriting letters. If you guys don't know that about me, like I just think it's such like a lost art form, like handwriting like envelopes and letters and stuff. So I love doing that, but I'm gonna drop that off now. Unfortunately, it started raining, which kind of ruins my plans for the day, but I'm gonna think of something else to do when I get back. Okay, I'm home now and I'll show you guys what I wanted to do today, but I don't think I can anymore because unfortunately it like started pouring. It was just sprinkling before, but now it started like pouring outside, so I'm gonna save it. Maybe it'll clear up later and I can do it, but I ordered some stuff off of Amazon like before this all happened because I'm gonna make like a little DIY picture backdrop for our wedding because I just love when people have like a little area for people to take pictures. So I found a wooden like fence panel. I'll show you guys, it's in my garage on Facebook Marketplace actually for like 20 bucks and I thought I could just like jazz it up a little bit and maybe like paint our names on it or something like Brooke and Al and like our wedding date. But then I thought I could put some like greenery on it. So I got this like eucalyptus greenery. It looks really pretty. It had really good reviews but it's just like this greenery that I can put on it. And then I also got battery fairy lights so it'll just be like very romantic. I'll try to insert a picture somewhere of like what my thought is of what I want this to look like, but I want to like actually take this out and put it like weave it on the fence panel and weave like the fairy lights on it. I feel like what I'm saying right now sounds kind of crazy, but maybe if it gets better weather wise later, I can show you. I'll take you to the garage right now though to show you the, whoa, sorry, <laughs> to show you the fence. We have it in our garage right now and they don't really have enough room to do it out here but here it is it's just like this grayish i don't know it's it's like you can tell that it's kind of weathered but it's huge first of all it's like massive so i think i could like weave the greenery in here and put the lights up here and that way people can like take pictures in front of it I don't really know what I'm, where I'm getting at with this, but I don't know. I just want to make it look really cute. But I really want to do it outside because I might clean up the fence panel a little bit too. And we just like don't have enough room in here right now. But for the time being, I think I am going to start on another little embroidery project. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably see that I've been doing like embroidery. Embroidery is something I seriously have wanted to do like all my life my grandma always did it and then she passed away and we got like some of her 
stuff from it and I've always wanted to do it but I just never had the time so this quarantine is giving me the time to do that but I finished my first dish towel here it is it's so pretty looking it's just like leaves and flowers and I just think it's so pretty so I still have to sew something on the back just because the back looks like this and I just feel like I did tie knots to try to keep them from coming out but I just feel like I don't really trust this like in the wash so I want to like put like a patch on the back so that way it stays just as pretty as it is but I want to start another one actually so I'm going to go on Etsy where I found the um, like this pattern and then I can trace it on here with carbon paper so I kind of want to start another one just because it's really something for me to like pass the time with this quarantine like I don't know I just I'm not the kind of person that gets like bored really easily like I can usually always find something to do but I've just been needing like a little something to like keep me off my phone to keep me from just watching TV and this has been something I can just do this is my embroidery chair I just sit here and look out the window and I don't know I just it's just for me it's been like the one thing that I can do and that I find enjoyable because as you guys know like I love like arts and crafts and stuff but like I'm not a painter I'm not a drawer those kind of things if I ever start it I never finish it just because it's like not my thing but this is like it clicks with me and I love it and I feel like my grandma is smiling down on me because she loves to do it too so I am going to do that <laughs> about doing this is that I can just work on it like genuinely when I want to like there's no due date there's no date that like I have to have these done by so I just like work on it bits and pieces here and there like whenever I have a little bit of downtime which is a lot lately but so yeah I think I'm gonna be done with this for the day I just got the outline done and I think I might work on it maybe tonight but I have some homework I want to work on tonight so I might not get to it then but now I think I'm actually going to go downstairs in our storage room and go through like all of my stuff that I have down there because I have a lot of stuff down there and I think I'm gonna like be getting rid of some things just because I don't want to take everything when I move like there are some things that I just don't use anymore and that I've just been like putting off getting rid of but I really think it's time for me to oh I'm the worst hoarder you guys like if you know me you know like I find a sentimental value in like every single thing that I own which is like I mean I'm emotional I'm sentimental all that that's great but like at the same time it's like sometimes I need to let go of things that I just can't so it's gonna be hard for me but I already have a few things that I know I'm like it's time to go so I'm gonna head down to the storage room now do that maybe I'll start packing up some stuff I don't know I have like a month before I leave so I have some time but I don't want to waste time either or I mean I don't want to wait too long either but I'll show you our storage room so you can see what I'm talking about okay so here is the current situation with 
our storage room. So these are all boxes that I've been saving up just because I know I'm going to need them. This over here, these are all the wedding gifts that we've gotten so far. These are the signs that we had made for our wedding. And then I have stuff on here I have to go through on that shelf. This is just our elliptical. <laughs> um, this is all shower stuff for the shower that's been postponed that we need to keep here. Um, this is some wedding stuff that I can sell because we weren't going to be using them. All of that, all those boxes down there are stuff that I can get rid of. This is just some extra furniture from my grandma's house. And then I have more stuff here and more stuff on that shelf. So, so I have some work to do. I'm going to start with that shelf over there and work my way over. it has been a few hours i am gonna throw in the towel because i've been doing this now for like two hours and i'm getting tired but i made some really good progress so i know it doesn't look like much but i cleaned this shelf up so much nicer so here's what i have going on right now this is all wedding gifts that we've got so far that needs to go these are three of the boxes i started for moving um obviously this one's really empty so i'm going to be filling it with more stuff but these two are going to be like my memory boxes, like sentimental stuff from my childhood and stuff like that. And then down here I have some of my records, some movies, and then some random like Christmas decor that I thought we could use at our house eventually. Um, this is all stuff that's going to go to Goodwill. I have like some scrapbooks and like random Christmas ornaments and stuff like that. This over here in this big garbage bag is all stuff that I'm throwing away which I'm very proud of myself because I am so bad at throwing away things like I just I can't throw anything away but I threw away some stuff that I just really don't need and that nobody would ever want or buy or anything like that and then these are just extra boxes because I'm going to be doing this more this is still all wedding and shower stuff that we are actually using but then I'm starting a new pile over here of like shower and wedding stuff that we aren't gonna be using. Like for example, these are from my sister's wedding actually. They're like wood, they're these that you could like make your own centerpieces out of. We're not, we were originally maybe gonna use these but we're not anymore. So I'm starting that pile because I know for sure in those boxes right there, there's a ton of like wedding stuff that people either got for me or stuff that we found that we're like, oh, we could use this but we're not gonna anymore. But you guys, I'm like out of breath because I've been going crazy. But if you saw like a before of this shelf, it was like crowded and there was like stuff all outside of it too. So I cleaned that up well and I'm very proud of myself. But side note, I am getting rid of my little turntable. I got this at Black Friday a few years ago. Let me see. It's like one of the like suitcase ones. It's really, really cool. So you open it up like this and it's a little record player and I'm super sad but I well actually I'm not really that sad because I want to upgrade one and get like a nice like glass one I actually put a nice one on our wedding registry so we'll see if we get it but if we don't get it that's definitely something that I'm gonna buy because I have a ton of records I love playing them this one was my very first one and I'm gonna be selling it so if you're interested in it and it's still for sale just let me know um, I am selling it for probably, I'm not really sure how much I'm selling it for yet because it's barely used and these go for about $45 to $50 if you were to just go buy one. So I'm not really sure yet, but message me if you are interested.
all right i'm gonna be ending the vlog here for the night it's like almost eight o'clock luckily it's still gorgeous outside today was a super nice day after the rain cleared up which it did eventually there's like a little bit of a sunset going on over there but i'm just taking brandy outside to get some fresh air for myself and also just let her kind of run around and sniff around um we both go a little crazy if we're cooped up in the house for too long so i'll either take her out for a walk or i'll just let her run around we have a pretty big field right behind our house that i don't know just a grassy field to let her run around and do whatever she's doing right now i'm sorry if this vlog was kind of boring i didn't really do much but this is like my life now with this quarantine i just kind of clean organize pack uh work on my embroidery all that stuff so that's it but it feels really good to get some fresh air honestly i highly recommend taking even 20 minutes just to get out and get some fresh air that's what we're going to do i hope you guys all have a great day stay safe stay healthy um and i will see you guys in my next video bye